This was written in 1998. I'll tell you about the book in just a minute. Simple kindness is often missing in our world. We live in an in-your-face culture marked by belligerence, intimidation, and incivility. We get what we want through bullying and boisterousness. The level of public hostility has reached frightening proportions. Jesus no longer, I'm sorry, Jesus was no pushover and displayed firmness and righteous anger towards the religious establishment, but to the vulnerable uh, and hurting, he was tender. A woman was caught in the act of adultery by the self-righteous elite who wanted to bury her under a mound of stones. Jesus said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. Now you can check that out in John 8, 7. Uh, when they all walked away in self-condemnation, Jesus said to the ashamed woman, Neither do I condemn you. Go now and leave your life of sin. Um, the Spirit speaks a gentle word through us to other bruised people, a healing salve in, uh, in a hostile world. I don't know how much more timely those words could be for my life today. The Holy Spirit uh, is just informing me, filling my mind with the mind of Christ, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2. Um, and so what's interesting is this book, uh, if I open up to uh, the publishing, just so you don't think it's a, um, a response to something crazy, uh, this is, well, you can't really see it because I can't get too close, it doesn't stay, uh, but 1998. And so this book is called Discipleship Essentials uh, by Greg Ogden. I highly, highly suggest get uh, you know two or three other men or other women uh, in your life together. Get a copy of this book each and go through it. It is the most powerful discipleship tool I've ever seen. This section happens to be on the fruit of the Spirit. Uh, I just did a video on uh, patience and long-suffering. Um, now it's kindness. I'm about to read goodness and faithfulness and on and on and on. But uh, man, that, that, that kindness, firm but gentle, um, again, if we don't have the things of God, uh, I say again because it's from my uh, other places I've said this, but if we don't have the things of God in our heart above uh, our own desires, our own feelings, our own, um, you know, just our want to do things and be right and vent and all that. We've made those things an idol. We've placed them in a higher priority on a higher shelf uh, than our Lord Jesus.